right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got some good energy going right here, right? I'm going to bring up your next act. I know you're going to love him. Super funny guy. Please warmly welcome the stage, Mr. Logan Brown. <laughs> I'm so stoked that my mother-in-law was here to listen to Chris pontificate about vagina. <laughs> it was really funny, but oh shit. <laughs> um, I, got, I got double vaxxed, uh, and after I got double vaxxed, I noticed some weird thing happened where I started becoming a real piece of shit to anti-vaxxers. Uh, anti uh, and I know that the human experience is more nuanced than that. Like, there's like, it's not just like one fucking paintbrush. Like, there's different like genres of anti vaxxers right? Like, there's the ones that are like, oh, it's like fucking Germany, 1942. And those ones should be shot into the sun. <laughs> but there's the fucking, there's a, a small subsect that I just want to fucking, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and uh, that's the ones that try to prove to you that they don't need the vaccine through some sort of like physical feat. You know? <laughs> Like I was talking to a buddy one time and he was like, if someone with an immunity problem, would they be able to do this? <laughs> what? First off, that was sick. The second, are you trying to tell me that like people can't get the flu if they're break dancers? Like I'm not really percent on because you're fucking Why do you look like if I just bought Lenny Kravitz off of Wish.com? Good question, citizen. Good question. I am a I'm a biracial black man. My father is Irish and white. My mother is a Nigerian queen. I'm Puerto Rican for some reason. I don't know, I don't know how the fuck that happened, but I'm not thrilled about it. Um, as a light-skinned black man, I have to like fight for my right to say the N-word. Um, like it's 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 disheartening because you know if you're called it through high school, you should be able to say it. But I understand. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, they believe that uh, saying the N-word diminishes the impact of the N-word, but I disagree. I think white people getting upset about words that aren't the n-word diminishes the impact of the n-word so for instance uh, I grew up in a small town with a high school of like 400 students and in this high school of 400 students there were those kids that have the fucking the ducks unlimited caps with the fishing tackles in them they wear camouflage we call them the steel toe mafia and I was I was walking to my locker one day and I saw one of the fucking hillbilly mafiosa had one of this fucking this kid pushed into the locker reverse choke he was in up, like his feet weren't touching ground anymore. And I was like, some shit is about to go down. So I'm walking by and I've got my ear peeled and I hear, you don't ever call me a fart smeller. That's the, that's the fucking, that's, that's, that's redneck N-word. We're all adults here. We've all wafted someone else's ragu at one point. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking, whether on purpose or not, let's get really <laughs> Today is my two-month stand-up anniversary. Uh, I, I love stand-up because it's, it, it allows me to air my grievance for hack jokes, because man, I fucking hate the minions. I hate the, it's wine o'clock somewhere, I hate that shit. But if there's one hack joke I hate more than anything else, it's the one that's like, hey, the guy that discovered milk, we gotta have a talk with that guy. That guy. You mean that fucking hero? <laughs> what kind of narrative are you spinning there, bud? You think he went fucking cow, goat, all right, we've flown too close to the sun, get the almonds ready. There's 8.7 million voluptuous, big-tittied, milkable animals here. <laughs> this guy got the sampler, figured out that there's only two palatable animals. He got halfway through that shit like, <laughs> Turtle's not the one, Greg. Turtle's not the one. <coughs> the elites don't want you to know this, but babies, you can just fucking do this with them. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, I just don't like kids. <laughs> I hate kids. And the thing that I hate the most about kids is all my friends are having kids and they're sending me pictures of their kids. And when you send me pictures of your kids, I have to lie to you and tell you that your kid looks like something else than what it actually looks like. Which is an alien. Your child looks like an alien. Mama's little heartbreaker. He looks like Squidward, Jennifer. <laughs> he looks like fucking manic depressive under the sea clarinet player, right? And kids are so fucking dramatic. Like babies are fucking all day long with that shit. It's like, 
this is, what, what the, why the fuck does he do that? Oh, so he's experiencing something new. This is his first time he's ever experienced that. Bullshit. I didn't have sushi until I was 18. I didn't fucking put California roll in my mouth, just fucking. <laughs> Maitre D's like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? It's like, oh, he's never experienced that shit before. No, man. <laughs> cancel babies. That's what we should cancel. Okay. Cancel babies. Are you kidding? No. You know who we should cancel? Geppetto. Pinocchio's dad? What the fuck was that guy doing, huh? <laughs> Making kids in his workshop? I grew up in rural Ontario, man. I knew a lot of fucking woodworkers. They make tables. They make chairs. Not a single one of them has been like, fuck around, let's make a boy. <laughs> That's my time, guys. I've been Logan Brown. Thank you so much.